Cornelius Organ, are you ready? Yes, we are. Please proceed. Good morning. My name is Jeff Delane, and I'm the mayor of Cornelius. I want to start by thanking you for recognizing what our community has accomplished together. A little about Cornelius. Established in 1893 as Oregon's family town, we are bordered on the west by wine country and to the east by the high-tech silicon forest. Historically an ag-centered community, we are home to the local John Deere dealer. Cornelius is where many Latino families have chose to locate their roots. As a result, over half of our community identifies as Latino. We have promoted increased inclusiveness and equity within our city government, residents, and the broader community. By example, every month we publish a city newsletter in English and in Spanish, and it's delivered to every home in the community. Also, we've had several successful, well, wrong side, several successful town hall meetings with our partners at Central Cultural, as you can see in this picture here. We do those in Spanish speaking. They're actually in Spanish language. I have to have a translator so I can make sure I understand. Our goal in everything we do is to impact the residents in a positive way that invites participation and trust. Hi, I'm City Councilor Luis Hernandez. And about a year ago when I was deciding to run for City Council, I recognized that the city was in a very different place than it was just 10 years earlier. I had seen that the community came together and through sheer willpower, or like we say in Spanish, ganas, compassion and inclusiveness, it came together to change the trajectory that it was on. That's why for me, it was something that I wanted to be part of and be part of that momentum. So today we're here, we're gonna share with you our story of transformation, some of the key highlights during that period of time, and share with you how we are, how we are keeping our promise to be Oregon's family town. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Al Roque, and I've been the chief of police for the past three years. Starting in 2014, the Washington County Sheriff's Office has had the honor to provide police services to the residents of the city of Cornelius. But prior to that, the police department was very fractured, and there wasn't a lot of trust in the police, especially from the Latino community. City leaders at the time made the very difficult decision, as you may imagine, to disband the police department and contract with the sheriff's office. So job one for us was to rebuild trust by working on community engagement. Amongst the many things that we do, uh, we started an annual community dinner at a local school. The food is all donated by local businesses. The meals are all prepared by volunteers at our Latino community center. The menu has, of course, traditional turkey, but also turkey tamales. And we serve about 400 meals each year, the week before Thanksgiving, while engaging in dialogue with the community, as you could see pictured here. But community engagement happens every single day, organically, at our local coffee shop. You may have noticed cops like coffee shops. Well, one of the reasons we like them is because we get to engage the community in meaningful ways, informally, casually, and, and just touch the lives of people as they come and go about their business. We give out tons of junior deputy badge stickers at these coffee shops to kids and frankly even grown-ups because who doesn't like stickers? <laughs> so I believe that the youth have come to trust in us, look up to us as role models, and it's very common for children to show up at our community events dressed in homemade police uniforms and talk to us about someday becoming a cop. Thank you. Hello, I'm Karen Hill, the Cornelius Library Director. In 1983, we built our old library, which was about 3,000 square feet, very insufficient for our community needs. So about 10 years ago, a group from our community got together and developed a vision for a new library and community gathering space. 
Um, this was fraught with challenges, of course. Um, you've read about our financial and our political challenges. So we had to get pretty innovative. So we developed a partnership with a local housing developer and we developed this three-story building with the second and third floors, 45 affordable senior apartments, and the first floor, a 14,000 square foot library. Um, despite our community's poverty, we managed to raise $5.3 million. We have about a half a million left to raise. <laughs> and um, the, it's very popular. So uh, the day that we decided to move. We allotted a week to move from one library across the parking lot to the other library. We had 130 volunteers show up, and in three hours they moved all 20,000 books from one library to the other. So since then, um, the library's been full of people. We have meeting rooms, children's area, teen area, that our partners use all the time for educational activities, for uh, recreational and cultural programs, and uh, last month, we had 8,000 people come through the library. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ryan Wells. I'm the Community Development Director. In order to prepare for the tremendous growth facing our community and to prepare a sense of place in a revitalized downtown core, over the last year, the city has been working on the Cornelius Town Center Plan. This is going to provide guidelines to direct the next generation of development and investment in our downtown area. Through a robust English and Spanish language outreach campaign and with the help of our community partners, we reached over 900 community members in our small town to learn their priorities and preferences in a new downtown area. Features of the plan include capital investments such as a splash pad and public plaza, developer incentives such as facade improvement program and impact fee buy-down, and a simplified zoning code, which makes development opportunities accessible to a broader audience of investors. One special feature of the plan that we're particularly proud of is a cultural district overlay, which highlights public art, historical and interpretive features, and bilingual directional and building signage, all intended to honor our multicultural and agricultural heritage, with a particular emphasis on our Latino community, which makes up 52% of our city's population. Finally, coupled with the town center plan, the city has also been working on an urban renewal district, which, through tax increment financing, will provide direct funding for each and every project and program identified in the town center plan. As it now stands, the district will provide $25.5 million in direct project financing over 21 years. Good morning, my name is Daisy Santian from the Washington County Sheriff's Office. Good morning, I'm Ignolia Dyke with Virginia Garcia Memorial Health Center. Hello, I am Gracia Reyes with Cornelius Elementary School. And buenos dias, my name is Juan Carlos Gonzalez. I'm a development director at Centro Cultural, Oregon's oldest Latino nonprofit founded in Cornelius, Oregon. So these agencies and other organizations partner with the city to lead community-based transformation. Not only do we engage residents, we create leadership opportunities. And you can see this all over the picture shared here. Specifically, we have a well-attended Spanish-speaking town hall. We have an open gym we created to create after-school opportunities for low-income kids uh, with the Cornelius Elementary School and Nike headquartered just 10 miles from our city. Small but mighty, we love Cornelius, not just because it is our Cornelius, but because it is nuestro Cornelius. Hi, my name is Uma Kierkler, and I'm a co-chair of the Youth Advisory Council. Hi, my name is Daisy Sanchez, and I'm also a co-chair of the Youth Advisory Council. As members of the Youth Advisory Council, we are learning more about our local and state government, volunteering at multiple community events, and sharing our youth perspective with the city manager and mayor. We feel heard and valued. Our membership reflects the diversity of our community. As members, we get to learn more about leadership and how to better serve our city. Personally, I believe that it is a great development to our city as now there are many opportunities for our youth. We have worked extremely hard to create a collective community vision 
promote high quality public involvement, and collaborate more with our residents, faith community, neighbors, and other governments. We strive to be innovative and nimble. Our goal is to bring our residents together to form a cohesive and collaborative community.